counseling micro skills, exploring inconsistencies with Gina Ko and Sandra Collins. Sandra, welcome back. It's nice to see you again. Yeah, thanks, Gina. It's nice to be back. Mm -hmm. So for today, what would be important to start with? Questioning. Well, I'm finding myself in this really interesting position where I am now technically retired and yet I'm just as busy as I've always been and so I'm trying to make sense out of that for myself and and you know I can list all of the reasons that that's happening but part of me is like good god the the I watched a video that we had done two years ago and I thought oh I'm talking about the same thing now that sort of you know finding balance and being involved in the other things in my life etc and and so yeah I'm just feeling conflicted about that Sandra I'm not surprised I'm not surprised that you're supposed to be retired and you're as busy as you, you can be because of all your passions and your you know, your creative work and your the people that you know that you continue to want and love to work with and they want to work with you. So offering affirmations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the thing is that there's so many other things that I want to do, like the other half of my office that you can't see in the video is all art stuff. And, and I just want to, you know, be sitting there doing art or be out in the garden. And um yet yeah, those things aren't happening as much as I want them to happen mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so what's getting in the way of your art then getting in the way of creating your art questioning well I was doing well when I was taking a class a month ago um and so I had to be on zoom every week and it was videos I was watching and you know all that kind of stuff so it kept me focused and I had you know tasks that I had to accomplish week to week but now that the class isn't there I'm kind of back to I think dealing with the things that feel more urgent mm -hmm. um, and never quite getting caught up on them uh, so yeah it's it's that kind of this pulls me over here and this pulls me over there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sandra, tell me more about when you're doing your art, you're creating your art. What, what does it feel like in those moments? Questioning. Uh, I think my mind shuts down, which is really, at least the, the academic portion of my mind shuts down. You know, I'm using a different part of my brain and I'm um, more present in the moment and more kind of just engaged with the, the color and the creativity and the texture and, you know, all of those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. you're more present then when you say your mind shuts down you're more immersed reflecting meaning experience near response yeah I think I am more present and and more yeah present to the tasks that I'm doing in the moment whereas you know in many of my other um, tasks when I'm sitting at my desk I'm multitasking all of the time so um yeah, I'm, I'm more focused when I'm doing my art. Yeah. So I'm noticing that on the, on the one hand, you know, there's a desire and that, 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 that want to do more art and to be more immersed in that present uh, creativity. And on the other, there's this other part of you that's thinking about more of your um, publishing world, your work with colleagues, you know, even though you are retired, right? So I see that those two parts. Exploring inconsistencies. Yeah, and they don't really fit together that well. Um, and I guess that's my, I guess that's my question going forward. How do I find a way to, to fit those two things um, together? Because it's a different it's a different type of way of being. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, when I had the class, there was something over there that was reminding me and pulling me into the art. Um, mm -hmm. And then, then without the class, you know, I hear the pings on my computer, which are a little more 
<laughs> we're trained to that demand right uh oh ping ping what's happening that i need to deal with right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know and when you earlier said multitasking when you're more in this kind of academic mind and you know writing and doing the that part of the work it's you know it's more i'm just sensing visualizing more frazzledness somehow more immediately i need to get these things done reflecting meaning experience near response mm -hmm. when with the art it's yeah i'll go with the flow and maybe time just goes by and you're fully present and reflecting meaning experience near response would it be fair to say that you would like to maybe transfer the moments of your creation of art into your work world exploring inconsistencies yeah, that's actually an interesting, that's actually interesting, Gina, because I think, I think there are times when I'm able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, I think it is about the difference in the energy, because I don't want to be in that um, high demand place um, where my energy feels like it's being pulled, you know, whereas the art is kind of giving me energy. And so um and there are many things about the work that I'm doing now that also are giving me energy. And I know you've talked about that too, the way that um, your anti-racism work energizes you. And I do find that. Um, it's just that there are so many little bits and pieces and some of it is not like the same energizing stuff. It's just stuff that has to get done, right? So um, yeah, that's really interesting. Hmm.